So I've been using the Sony a7C to vlog over the past few days with my wife and this is a really fantastic YouTube vlog camera. Now I've been experimenting with different lenses and tripod systems, but I feel like I found a really great budget yet professional A7C vlog setup. And I'm gonna break it down in this video. You gotta just press record. Hey everybody, my name is Nolan Molt with Think Media. Now when the Sony A7C got released, initially a lot of people were excited to use this as their YouTube camera or their vlogging camera. Now the reason that is, is because this camera is very small. It's small like the Sony A6600, yet it's a full frame camera. So you're gonna get a fantastic look out of this thing. And then also it has that flip screen to the side, which vloggers really like to use this. And so people saw this and they knew right away that they would be using this to vlog on. This is also a great option to vlog with because of Sony's autofocus system. So you have the eye autofocus tracking happening in video. And Sony I think has the most reliable autofocus when it comes to video. And so this has been amazing to vlog on because because I'm never going out of focus. Once I'm in the shot, it's tracking my eye and it just looks fantastic. Now my wife and I have been vlogging on the standard picture profile with the detail turned all the way down. I really like the colors that I'm getting out of this. It's a little bit different than the Sony a6600. And so I think there's been some small improvements there and it looks really, really good just straight out of camera. And this is really important because a lot of vloggers and YouTubers don't wanna spend a lot of time color grading their videos. And so to have a nice quality image straight out of the camera is really important. When it comes to the lens that I selected for these vlogs, it's been the Tamron 17 to 28 lens. Now there's some pros and cons and I'll go over that really quick right now. The pros are that you have 17 millimeters, which is a really wide angle on that full frame system. And so it's perfect for vlogging. You can hold it out and get multiple people in the shot or you can hold the camera really close and still get not like a super tight close up of your face but you're still getting a good wide shot another pro is that it goes down to f 2.8 which means a lot of light is going to come into that camera and in return you're going to get that blurry background and so you get really cinematic really good looking images when you are vlogging on this lens i also love that you can zoom on this lens so if you need to zoom in and get a little closer shot you can zoom in to 28 millimeters. And this goes into one of the cons that I've had with this lens is I wish I could just zoom in a little bit more sometimes. And so there is the Tamron 28 to 75 millimeter. And that was amazing because you can zoom in so much. And uh, 28 though just wasn't wide enough for me. It's a bit bigger and heavier of a lens. And so when I found myself comparing these two lenses and which one I wanted to vlog with, for sure, hands down, I wanted to choose the 17 to 28, um, but I kind of found a workaround with this. So when you want to zoom in a little bit more past 28 millimeters, you can actually enable a crop function, which crops into the APS-C size sensor, and this is going to give you a bit more of a zoomed in look. Now I put mine on this function button. So if I hit the function button right here, I can go all the way over and turn this on just by going up a couple buttons, hitting okay. And this is gonna crop in for me. And so I really like that it's very quick and easy. And so definitely having that crop in button on those quick settings is perfect for vlogging because in a scenario where you need to crop in really quick, just a couple clicks and you are there. And the cool thing is when you are cropped in and you're shooting in 4K, you're still getting a 4K image. So you're even able to crop in more in editing if you wanna do that. When it comes to the little tripod on the bottom, you definitely need something like this when vlogging because a lot of the times you wanna set the camera down, maybe get a time lapse of you working or get a shot of you just talking to the camera while you're not holding it. Uh, so this was definitely something I wanted to add to this vlog setup. Now I actually started on the Joby Gorillapod. That is this thing right here. And you know, this is a really fantastic setup and I've recommended it before, but I've been using this for over a year now. And one of these legs has gone a little bit loose. And so what I found was with this camera when I was vlogging, sometimes this leg is it's a bit looser and it would start to kind of tip over. And I definitely do not want my camera falling over. That is uh, not okay. And so I decided to ditch this and to go with the man. I think it's called the Pixie Pod. 
Now everything's gonna be linked in the description below, so make sure you go down there and check it out if you want to buy any of this stuff. You know, this does come in around $50 for the 3K version. If you wanna get the 5K version, which is probably what I would recommend if you wanna go with this setup, then you can get that for $100. Now the nice thing about this is they have those bendable legs, so you can really put this in really cool situations. If there is a tree or if there is a post, you know, you can wrap this around there and get a really cool shot. Whereas on this one, you only have these three legs that do not bend, and so you can only place this on flat surfaces. Now this tripod comes in at $25, and it has this ball head, so you can click this down and move the camera around if you want to hold it out more like this, or if you set it down on the table, you can bring that back up, you can level out your shot, and it's really simple, it's really easy, and it's been working perfectly for me, so I really liked using this setup, and this is what we decided to vlog on. So definitely getting started out with your vlog setup if you wanna save some cash and not spend $100 on the Gorillapod and grab one of these, then you can get one for $25. The mic I decided to use was the Rode VideoMic NTG. Now this is my favorite YouTube mic. I love the sound that you get straight out of the camera from this. In my opinion, it sounds a little bit better than the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Basically, you know, that is what I do. I create YouTube videos. And so that is, you know, shooting them and then I'll edit them. And then sometimes now I'm doing, you know, thumbnails. For vlogging, it's worked perfectly. We've used it all weekend. And, and this thing will go on and on and on before you need to charge it up but it's a fantastic mic and we did a review actually comparing those two mics. So if you wanna click on the card right now, you can check out that video, but really this is a fantastic microphone and so this is the one I decided to go with. When it comes to the batteries, you definitely wanna have a few spare batteries. We had three of these batteries. Now these are the NPF Z100 batteries and they last a really long time. That's what I love about this camera as well is that the, these batteries are really, really nice. And so we had two spares and that was enough for us to last us all day and we never needed to you know charge batteries in the middle of the day and so having two spares is definitely gonna be a good idea to throw those in a bag throw them in your pocket and it'll be set for your entire day now when it comes to actually capturing all this media you want to get a nice SD card that is not going to stop recording because it's not fast enough and so the one that I recommend is the SanDisk Extreme Pro and this has 170 megabits per second and it's a fantastic SD card. 128 gigs is enough for you to record all day and record your vlog. And so definitely minimum get that 128 SD card. And on that card, we were able to vlog for a few days before filling that up. And we were recording everything in 4K, 24 frames per second, as well as some 60 frames HD and 120 frames per second in HD. But my favorite thing really about vlogging on this the past few days is that you just get a really good professional looking image. And so right now you are watching my wife's vlog and if you wanna see more of what the Sony a7C looks like with this lens on there, you can click on the card right now to go and watch that. And she filmed that entire vlog on this setup so you can see how it sounds and see how it looks. Now I definitely recommend this setup. I think it's the best 4K full frame vlogging setup that you can get for the price and you're gonna get professional quality out of this camera. And the cool thing is you can always swap a lens and put a 20 millimeter f1.8 lens on there which is my favorite YouTube lens for this camera. And you can shoot really, really good looking YouTube videos on this as well. If you wanna see my Sony a7C YouTube setup with that lens, then click on the screen right now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.